Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YT Legends channel. We're going to teach you guys everything you need to know about being a legend on YouTube. We look at other legends, you know, some of the big and most famous YouTubers that you've ever seen. And Denver and I, we have a collective 1.6 million subscribers between yeah. the two of us, over 300 million views. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about some of the most common mistakes that people make when they're starting a channel. Ow! Before we get into it though, smash the subscribe button, hit a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions throughout the duration of this video, please leave them in the comment section below. Please leave them. Denver, below. are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Now starting us off guys, we see one of the biggest mistakes that YouTubers make is they get into it thinking they're gonna be rich, <laughs> they're gonna be famous, and all the clout's gonna come and they're gonna get attention. It's not gonna happen. And it's not gonna happen for like a year or two. It's gonna take a long time. And some people go through years and really never get the exposure or the money that they thought they were gonna get in the first month. It takes a long time. After you know six months or a year and you still haven't had a single cent, but you've put thousands of hours into something, you're going to get a little frustrated. It's going to happen. That's why the big YouTubers rise to the top. And that's what you can do too. We rise to the top because it's some. it, it takes a long period of time to do. So don't go into it thinking, oh, you're going to be rich and famous from the get-go. Give yourself time and have that right mindset before you get started. Yeah, here's the thing, you guys. Not only are you not going to be rich and famous from the beginning, but people are going to make fun of you. You need to understand <laughs> that you are going to get you're going to get hate. You're going to get hate from people who are your family members. You're going to get hate from people who are your friends. They're going to make fun of you. And the thing is, is you have to love what you're doing so much that it propels you past all of that negativity because that negativity is going to surround you. And it's going to suck you down. And, and there's, there are going to be times, trust me, when you feel like quitting just to turn off the negativity, you have to have the right mindset to get through that. Yep. Yep. Next up guys, you need to get started with high quality, right? So a mistake that I see a lot of YouTubers make is they don't have good voice quality. And if you're using a face cam, they don't have good video quality. Luckily, if you have like a newer cell phone, your video can actually pick up really good video quality. So you're kind of lucked out there. But other than that, try to get a microphone. I mean, even on Amazon, there's probably like 20, $25 microphones that really work well for you. For me, I started on a blue Yeti. It just really worked out for me. I caught it on sale for like $75 and people love the sound of my voice in my early videos. So I, you can upgrade eventually, but really you don't need to start with a super expensive microphone. But the mistake I see is people have low quality audio and on top of that, low quality channel art. So just pay somebody on Fiverr. Scott and I say that all the time. If you want to make it yourself, that's fine. Just look up the dimensions. Like you can just Google uh, YouTube banner dimensions, YouTube profile picture dimensions and just have higher quality stuff because if they see that you have higher quality art and 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 audio quality and video quality, they're going to like your videos a lot more and they're going to trust you more. They're going to take you more seriously. That's that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing. It's like a lot of times what will happen is somebody will come to your channel and they'll see really crappy channel art and they're like, yeah. oh yeah, this guy's basic. He's brand yeah. new to this. He doesn't have any value to offer me. And they're going to judge your content off of the, you know, your, the book cover, right? That yeah, essentially yeah. that's what they're it looking at is your book lot. cover. People are going to judge you based off of that. So make sure that you have a clean banner and you've got clean thumbnails. The other thing I wanted to say is that you want to make sure that your editing is on point as well. You know, Denver talked about audio, super important and video, super important, but pacing is so important yeah. because you want to be able to keep the attention of your audience member for as long as you possibly can. And if you're dragging on, even if you're the funniest guy in the world or the most creative person in the world, if you drag on and people just start leaving you right as soon as they start watching your content because you're too boring, then you're not going to ever get any lift. You're not going to take off. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they're not putting enough time and effort into the flow of their video and their pacing. Make sure that you focus on that. All right, next up, guys, something that a lot of newer YouTubers are afraid to do, and this is a huge mistake. Go look at other big YouTubers and emulate their success. I think some people are worried like, oh, they're going to think I copied them or something like that. Every YouTuber out there that has made it, your favorite YouTubers that you watch, they scroll YouTube a lot. And Scott can vouch for this too, because we do this in all fields, all niche niches, as we say. Go look at what successful practices big channels are doing and bring those to your channel too. Don't copy somebody straight up. But if I see somebody in the gym who's like really jacked and ripped, I'm going to go up and I'm, I might say, hey, what, what you know, what your diet like what kind yeah, of so exercise you muscles? think is best <laughs> but but here's the thing am i going to show up to the gym the next day wearing the same clothes 
thousand headphones as this guy? No, <laughs> that would be so a weird, right? Fanny pack. But the thing is, like, I want to know his diet. I want to know like the exercises that, that you know. How did he get to that point that he's at? Because it takes a lot of work. How do I get on that right track too? So go look at other big YouTubers, emulate some of the things that they're finding success with. Yo, can I touch your abs? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so often you guys, I hear people come onto YouTube and they're like, I, I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be so unique. That's cool. Like be yourself, be unique. But the thing is, you have to still create content that people who are on YouTube want to watch. It has to still have some elements of a YouTube-ish type of a video. We always talk about having your own, ready Denver? Niche right. niche. Niche niche. Oh, niche I was a little late. Dang we it. did it. Okay, moving then on. We got it. That's super important. But again, there are rules that you need to follow in order mm -hmm. to be successful and take off on YouTube. Just like if I were to go into Hollywood and make a movie, there are rules that they have to follow. Musicians have to follow rules. Like there's certain chords that don't go together and stuff. Everywhere you go in art, there's colors that don't go together, right? You have to follow these rules because YouTube is no different. Kind of along the same lines, you guys, there are people who are afraid to voice their opinions because they're afraid of being judged. That makes you super vanilla on YouTube and you don't want to be in that vanilla range because the vanilla range doesn't really appeal to uh, the masses of one group of or category of people. So if you want to be successful, you need to have an opinion about something and don't be afraid of hurting someone else's feelings who doesn't agree with you. I promise you that once you start getting some traction on YouTube, you're not going to appeal to everybody. There are going to be people who hate you just because you look for weird no reason. or no reason at all. They literally no they just won't like you. They won't like you. So be yourself, be mm -hmm. authentically you from the beginning, rock that boat, be yourself, rock have those boat. opinions. And then your tribe, they will find you and they'll love you that much more because you are saying what you mean. Yep. You're talking from True. the heart. And that's what yeah, they want. People like confidence. People like somebody who's genuine. But at the same time, this kind of leads into the next one. And the very last one, we always save the best for last for you guys. This last mistake, it upsets me greatly just because, you know, I, I, I guess I've technically made it on YouTube. Do not be afraid to make money. Some YouTubers come in and I, it's a huge mistake. They don't accept accept uh, sponsorship deals, brand deals, because they're like, well, what are people going to think of me, right? Am I going to be seen as like a sellout? No, you're putting a lot of time and effort into this. Remember, the number one currency that we have in our lives is time. So if you're putting time into something by the, the hundreds and thousands of hours, don't be afraid to get a little monetary value out of it. Get it's that okay. bread. Yeah, someone's going to say like, oh, you're just a sellout. Oh, you just do this for money. But at the same same time, it's okay to do this for money. If you're only doing it for money, that's where people are going to be able to see. And actually you're going to like kind of slip off. I've seen people do that before, Yeah, but don't be afraid to do it for money also, right? Let that be a big motivation. Okay. And there you guys have it. These are some of the biggest mistakes that new YouTubers make before they even start on YouTube and just right in the beginning when they're just starting on YouTube. So if you fall into this category, watch this video, make sure that you study it so that way you know what to avoid. You guys, you're going to be amazing. I can see it already. I know that a lot of you guys are going to take off. Have an amazing day. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Adios.